going on guys right right here so spring has officially sprung spring has sprung yes <laughs> um, oh man everything is starting to turn green we've been getting some thunderstorms and the bugs are out in full force and I'm gonna get to that in a little bit but I wanted to give you guys like a little bit of an update on my my busy little life with my little family and how stressful it's been how emotional it's been and again just how busy it's been in the Ray Ray household so last week uh, my son turned four years old and me and mom were both a wreck and you know you would think four-year-old isn't like a big birthday you know you'd think five years would be like wow five years old but no this year it really it hit us and I think what really did it was this video that my wife made or my fiance I'll get to that again in a little bit but my fiance made this video of pictures from when he was a baby on up to the day of his birthday and it wouldn't have been such a sad video and it wouldn't have made me actually I cried I cried real tears guys it would have made me cry if she didn't have like such a sad song with this video but the song it was like it was like a sappy parent song you know pretty much like you know saying hey you're here with us now we love you and I don't know it's if you're a parent and you've been hit by the sappy bug ever since having a child let me know drop it drop it down in the comments but oh man I was a wreck he's starting school this year too so I think that's another thing that uh, that did it is just knowing he's getting big he's getting so big guys he's starting school and uh, just doing my best to be a good dad and to teach him and it's oh, just growing up so the other thing that has caused us to be so busy and this is the stressful part is I'm getting married next month in June I'm getting married to my fiance of 10 years 10 years and <laughs> I always kind of joke because I joke that we do things backwards you know we moved in you know we got an apartment together we had a kid I started riding motorcycles and now finally we're getting married so we're doing everything a little backwards you know still saving for a house and everything so uh, but I'm getting married next month and that's been stressful because you know just put the plans together that's that's the stressful part about it is you know just getting the plans all together and you know knowing that there's only a month left oh. but I'm so excited to finally be an official mister I'm very excited to be married and that's another thing in uh, one of my future videos I don't have enough time today but um, probably in the coming weeks I'm gonna stop at the venue where we're actually gonna have our wedding you know just to kind of show you guys where it is and all that stuff it's right on Lake Michigan so it should be a really fun time and I'd love to invite y'all but I don't think that's a pl plausible thing <laughs> maybe I'll have somebody live stream <laughs> oh, that'd be funny have somebody live stream the whole thing so you could get down with us while we're partying you could get down with us in your living room all right guys so the main part of this video that I wanted to talk about was it's spring now the weather is getting beautiful uh, the trees are starting to uh, bud and that also means the bugs are out and just a little bit ago I got smacked in the arm with a bug and I've been getting hit more and more with all these bugs 
You know, I've been getting smacked more and more with these bugs come smacking me in the arm and smacking me in the chest. And I don't know how these guys do it who don't wear any gear while they're riding. You know, be smacked in the face with a bug, a big June bug or something, man, that would suck. Or especially a bee, which is gonna lead me to this story. So what is the worst thing that you think could happen to you while you're out on your bike? You know, what's the worst thing? And I'm not talking a crash because that's like the ultimate, like worst thing that can happen. All right, so I'm gonna do a live reenactment. So I'm coming down this road, you know, doing about like, what, 30 miles an hour, and I'm just going along and I feel something pop hit me in the chest. You know, figured it was a bug, okay, cool. So I'm, I'm like this and all of a sudden I feel this pinching on my crotch. I feel this pinching, oh Jesus. <laughs> I might have to slow that down, this, oh man, this bug just hit the windshield. All right, well, so anyway, I feel this pinching as I'm coming to this stop sign right here. So, you know, on my crotch, and I'm like, oh man, you know, my, my boxers are pinching, you know, so I kind of get up and, you know, I'm kind of trying to adjust myself. I'm moving around and it's still pinching. It's like just this dull pinch. So as I'm coming up to this stop sign, you know, I'm kind of up and I'm kind of tugging a little bit, you know, like, oh man, I'm really binding up here. And so I turn down, I turn down right here to go to my parents. And at this stop sign, you know, I kind of, I do this, you know, I can't, cause I can't see my crotch right now. So I'm, you know, I kind of get up and I'm not going to reenact the whole thing because you'll get the idea. Hey, there's Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi. That's my nephew-in-law. So I go to my parents over here get off the bike and I get the helmet off because it's still like this dull pain this dull pinch you know take my helmet off and I go to like really adjust myself and I look down and there's a bee a bee stuck to my crotch <laughs> and at this point I think it's dead but it was yeah it was stuck to my crotch I flicked it off and of course, I had to go to the bathroom to uh, to inspect the area, and it was uh, uh, yeah, it it it, it stung my uh, unit, <laughs> so it was a little swollen. Yeah, you know, I was telling the guys at work like, yeah, I got stung stung by a bee while I was on the motorcycle. He uh, it got my crotch. He got my my unit. And, you know, they started laughing and stuff and saying, oh, but Ashley like that, that's probably the biggest it's been in a while. So that was so far, so far to date, that is the worst thing to happen to me while out on my bike. And if that's the worst thing to happen to me, then I'm good. I'm fine with that. Um, I've heard of guys having a bee, you know, hit their chest and actually go up into their uh, helmet, which I'm lucky. This helmet, it's it's really nice. It has like this whole guard that surrounds, you know, your entire like neck area, and the chin guard works really well. But you know, I've heard of bees flying up in their helmet. I've heard of them going up their sleeve, which is kind of partly the reason why I got these gauntlet style gloves. But what's the worst thing to happen to you on your bike? That's what I want to know. I want to hear other people's stories. I want to know if you've been stung in the dick, <laughs> uh, or if you've been, or if you're a lady and a bee has gone down your shirt. Because I've seen, I've seen people at the shooting range. I've seen ladies at the shooting range have uh, brass shells go down their tank top and they're jumping around. That would suck. I can imagine that would suck. But what's the worst thing to happen to you on your bike? Let me know down in the comments. Please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, please. And for my subscribers already, please hit that little bell notification so you can know when I upload videos. Because I would like to try to keep a normal schedule on my Monday videos, but that's not always the case. Sometimes I switch it up with other type of videos. So hit that little bell. It'll pop up on your notifications, let you know I got a video. All right, guys, so until the next video, it's getting beautiful out. Get out here and ride. Ride safe. As always, I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.